hello friend welcome back in this tutorial i will show you how you can automate the shadow dom which are inside cross origin iframe and nested shadow dom as well which are inside cross origin iframe using selenium python because uh, java selenium i have already created many tutorial so this time we'll see how we can automate this using selenium python it's very simple it will be very easy with the help of selector sub i will show you so let me just first open a website more than code please try to understand the logic like how we write the code how we look at uh, the iframe or how we identify like cross origin iframe and then shadow down that is more important rather than just because code is just like few keywords here and there you have to type okay so here just open selector sub i'm showing in pro version same thing everything all the features available in free version as well so it's up to you now here you just click on this selector sub inspector and you will see that when you try to inspect any element on the right top corner you see that you see that in red tooltip this element is inside cross origin iframe so if we inspect this we got to know that this is inside cross origin iframe and this is the iframe xpath and this is the xpath for that element cool so this is the one element it is only inside cross origin iframe for this how to automate this element which are inside cross origin iframe i have already created a tutorial the video link i will leave in the description that how you can handle element which are inside cross origin iframe using selenium with java and selenium with python both now let's talk about the more complex scenario where element is inside shadow dom you see that i have hover on this sop and it is showing that blue tooltip this sop this element is inside shadow dom and you see on the top left corner it is showing this element is inside cross origin iframe the red tooltip this one so this is this shadow dom is inside cross origin iframe now if you hover on this you see that this this is also inside cross origin iframe and then this element is inside shadow dom so basically like all the elements i mean this shop this e-commerce website which we have it here under this page that is a coming from this different domain so that becomes the cross origin and then these all elements are inside cross origin uh, inside shadow dom okay cool now here let's say we if we inspect this basket link if i click on this basket icon you see that in selector sub it is showing this element inside two nested shadow dom okay but when we hover on this we also know that this is inside cross origin iframe so this element is uh, like element is inside shadow dom two nested shadow dom and then these two nested shadow doms are inside that cross origin iframe okay so we need the x path for that cross origin iframe or selector for that cross origin iframe so first we will have to switch inside the iframe then we will have to access shadow dom one by one according to their hierarchy and then we can perform the action on this element we can access this element so first we need to switch inside iframe then for access first shadow dom then second shadow dom and then access the element so that's how we will have to do so here you see that in selectors of pro we got to know the css selector for host one host two and that element selector as well so this code is in selenium java you can directly use that copy paste in that so here we are talking about selenium python so that i will show you now we got this uh, shadow dom information and the element information but you see that here we didn't get yet the iframe x path region because if the element you have inspected that is inside uh, the iframe so it will not be like able to automatically give you the iframe x path if that element is inside shadow dom because it won't be able to traverse backward till that iframe so for that we need to inspect the element which is just inside this cross origin iframe then only we will get that iframe x path as well so for that region like here we are not able to click that closely because every element is inside shadow dom so what we will do here simply nothing no need to worry close this and open dev tools here inspect any element here let's say we inspect the basket only 
and here open selector sub pro and now you just go back here in the dom and you see that this is the iframe you just click on this and here you will get the x path for that iframe as well okay cool so we got the x path for this iframe so because like once you uh, through extension if you inspect the shadow dom it can give you the shadow dom hierarchy it can it won't be able to give the iframe x path now here we got the iframe x path and from there you will get the shadow dom x uh, details so first we need to switch inside iframe so let's copy this x path of iframe you can in fact get uh, like the code as well here you have the command and you just select the command which you want to get in in the format like let's say we want in this format of uh, python in which we used to write like let's say this one so here you see that you get this complete command like we used to write in python so simply you copy this come back to your code and here i have written a simple code to open that page this one and here first we will switch inside that iframe driver dot so there's a method in selenium python we used to use driver dot switch to dot frame and here we need to pass the frame element so let me just write that frame element here we got the frame element and let's make it a variable iframe and here we will pass this iframe okay so this becomes like here we have got the iframe element and then here we got the uh, here we have switch inside that iframe okay very simple it is just like uh, switching inside any other iframe like that now we are inside iframe okay make sure that before getting the iframe element you put some wait time because most of the time iframe used to take some extra time to load in the page because they are coming from the different website like here on this page this is selectorsub.com it might be opening very fast but this is coming from different website this cross origin iframe is coming from different source that might take some time it might load fast that's good but mostly like it takes some time sometimes so in that case it is always good practice to use some wait before you switch inside iframe before you get the iframe element otherwise like you might get some error okay now we are inside iframe okay cool let me open selectors up here you need to inspect the uh, elements which are inside cross origin iframe from the side panel only there only it will support if you try to inspect this cross origin iframe element using the selector sub in dev tools there it will not work like if you try to inspect it here this way it will not work you see that it is not working because cross origin iframe selector sub supports only in side panel so here we will inspect this and here you can see that it is showing the details for this element and now you can see that notice this this element is inside two nested shadow dom and then here are the details for that i will write the code i will show you don't worry and if you are using like cypress playwright so then in just you switch this and you will get the code accordingly so this is basically like nested shadow doms you can also like if we inspect any other element like this one so here this is inside single uh, shadow dom like inside single shadow dom you see so here if we inspect this ladies underwear ladies outer wear this is also uh, inside single shadow dom both are same so let me first show you the example for the single shadow dom so we will try to click on this okay if you scroll down here like this it is showing if we will click on this element then it will be showing different page that we will see now how to write the code for this what you will have to do just simply copy this selector css selector for host one because this is in selenium java syntax we need to write in python so simply copy this css selector this is the main part the css selector for that host element so copy this css selector come back here now write driver dot find element and here we need to write by dot css selector x path is not supported by shadow dom remember so here 
we pasted that CSS selector of that host and now here we will write set root. This is the method in Selenium Python library that shadow underscore root to get that shadow root, shadow host element. So this I will write it as shadow. Uh, this becomes my variable. <coughs> okay. And now here we want to click on this element, right? So here you see that this is last line if you see this shadow dot find element so here basically this is the x path for this sorry css selector for this ladies out here so here we need to copy this css selector and here we need to write this shadow dot find element because inside this shadow host we are basically looking for this element and this can be accessed through css selector only and here you need to paste the CSS selector and we want to click on this. So let's click on this. Okay. And then here we will add this time dot sleep. I'm adding just this time of uh, let's say 50 seconds just to show you guys that we have uh, it has performed the click because in Python Selenium Python it might get it might might close the window automatically. So here first we switch inside iframe then we got get the uh, then we have to get the shadow host for that shadow dom and then inside that shadow dom we have that element so we will access that element and we'll try to perform the click so first switch inside that cross origin then get the shadow host then get that element inside that shadow host okay let's run this code it should click on that ladies out uh, outfit what we were seeing there below shop there is a ladies out here it should click on that element so you see that it has clicked on that and if i will scroll down and it will it should show that out here like these and to just to make sure let us click manually here because right now it is showing this page if we will click on this it is showing this same page okay so this is how you handle the uh, shadow dom inside cross origin iframe single shadow dom inside cross origin iframe same way we can handle n number of shadow dom like suppose if your element is inside 10 shadow dom and those 10 shadow dom are inside cross origin iframe same logic is going to be applied let's see how okay so now let's say we want to automate an element which are inside cross origin iframe and inside the nested shadow dom okay so the same logic you have to follow in case of like if element is inside two shadow dom three shadow dom or ten shadow dom the same logic we have to follow so for an example right now we have did for this ladies out here here now we'll try to click on this basket icon so let us inspect this and you can see that it is inside cross origin and it is inside shadow dom as well so this element is inside two nested shadow dom okay so same thing we'll come back to here and first let us co comment this code because we that we tried to click on that other element i will show you now how to do for two shadow dom so we have already switched inside iframe so again no need to switch and after this we have to just simply copy this uh, shadow dom uh, css selector for host one copy this and here you can type the same code like we, which we have written here driver dot find element by dot css selector paste that value and then dot shadow root we got that shadow root so this is the first shadow host so we can make it as shadow host shadow host oh god shadow host one we got the shadow host one now inside this shadow host one we have the shadow host two right so we'll make it as now here you have to type shadow host 2 shadow host 1 and inside this we have that shadow host 2 and here you paste the css selector for this shadow host 2 so then add the method shadow root 
okay and now we will click on that element we need to click on that basket right so basket css selector here it, this is the element so this is the basket css selector has icon copy this same logic you have to follow for n number of like whatever number of shadow hosts are there shadow doms are there now here inside this shadow host 2 shadow host 2 we have this element sorry dot find element css selector paste this and dot click and now we can run the code you will see that what we are doing simple first we are switching inside that cross origin iframe then we are accessing the shadow host for the first shadow dom then we are accessing the shadow host 2 for which is inside shadow host 1 and then inside that shadow host 2 we have this element and then we are clicking simple if there will be 10 like this you have to just add keep on adding line and getting the css selector from selector selector sub and then you can use it here you see that there is a co code as well written here this you can directly use it if you are working with selenium java so now let us run this code we will add that support for selenium python as well soon so you will directly get that piece of code so you will not have to even manually edit that now you will notice that we are switching inside iframe then we clicked on this cart icon if you see that if we scroll you will see that it has clicked on this your cart is empty if i will show you manually here we click on this cart icon you see that it is coming here so this is how you can perform the action on this element which is inside nested shadow dom inside single shadow dom and that shadow dom is inside cross origin iframe just understand the logic first you have to switch inside iframe as usual you were doing make sure you put some wait time before your uh, switching inside iframe or getting the iframe element basically before getting the iframe element you have to put the wait then switch inside iframe if you're uh, after switching inside iframe if you're uh, if you are not able to get the uh, if your if your code is not able to get that shadow root then in that case you put the wait time there as well and then you perform the action and this is how you can perform the action and click on there okay i hope you find this tutorial helpful if you have any such scenario which you are not able to automate like shadow dom iframe any kind of shadow dom any kind of iframe do let us know in the comment section or you can connect with us on the live chat of selector so we will be able to help you thank you thank you sir Please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Also check out these awesome informative videos and keep watching more videos on Selector Sub channel. Thank you.